All right, everybody, welcome back for another episode of Collection Reveal. This time, the California collection I picked up at the convention, starting with the 71 models. There's some 71s and 72s in the collection. Getting pretty nice. Most of them are pretty darn nice. Here is the Magenta 1971 AMX2. Nice magenta color, overall great condition. Let's take a look at the wheels, not too bad. This one's a little shabby, but not too bad. Uh, overall in very nice shape, a a AMX2. AMX2 actually was a real car, right? I mean, that was a real deal. And this one, it's all dusty inside. Looks like it could use a little bit of a bath and it'll be ready to go. An AMX2, number one out of the gate. Next one up in this collection, a Boss Haas. Now, I have already put some reproduction numbers on the side of the Boss Haas because it did not have any numbers on it. Still had the, well, a half of a lower stripe there, and all the top stripes are genuine. And uh, it's actually, it's funny because look at that. It's got a really nice front end. It's got a decent back end. Not bad on the base at all, but just has a lot of wear on top. And I don't think it had very good paint to begin with. It's a little, it's a little textury. Do you see that? Otherwise, not a bad looking little Aqua Boss Haas. Aqua Boss Haas. Number two, very popular car, so popular. Next one, bifocal. Look how beautiful this bifocal is. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Oh, uh, wait a minute. That doesn't look right. Oh, it's a crumbler base. Have you seen a crumbler? Cr I can't even say it, crumbler base before? Well, this is it. And do I have the lights on? Yeah, thought it maybe I didn't turn all the lights on. There we go, and how about this one? Another one over here, all right, yep. Yeah. All right, just double checking my light system here. A crumbler base, oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see the crack? The metal is just deteriorated, and it's, it's still together. You know, if you dropped it on the floor, it'd probably break up, but, uh, that top is immaculate. The top is immaculate. So let's see, why is that loose? Why, how does that connect? How does that connect, huh? That's interesting. I've never really looked at how a bifocal uh, hood connects. Something, is there supposed to be something in the interior that pushes it up? Hmm, maybe. There's nothing holding that up exactly. I guess if you, you probably, anyway. My plan for this is uh, hold on to it until I find a, a crumbler body, which you do find occasionally, and then I'll put that together and set it up. It'll look just fine. But right now, this is, if, if you're interested in a crumbler, if you've got a good base and no body, you might want to look, look me up. Maybe I can fix you up with this. But it is a beautiful, beautiful top. This would be a, $400 car if not for the fact that it's got a bad base if it had a good base it would definitely hit 400 look at how beautiful those side decals are those are amazing those are amazing I wonder if I could just knock this off hmm what if I just hammer it nope that didn't do it <clears throat> I wonder how much pressure it would take to make the rest of that come apart I suppose the best thing to do is just drill it out and get rid of it just drill it out and get rid of it. You could probably peel off some of the metal. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, let's not mess around with that. Let not, let's not let not mess around. Let's leave that as is for now. Bifocal. <clears throat> All right, Cockney Cab. Next one up is Cockney Cab. Always nice to get a Cockney Cab. They're very popular. Oh, this one's missing the flag on the back. Well, that's too bad. Should I put a reproduction flag on there or should I just leave it as is? What do you think? Leave your comment below. Got a nice space, got the blue dots from one boy over the other. One had red dots, one had blue dots. And that's not a bad car. Look at, can you see the spots though? So there's spots in there. They're not bad. Spots, spots from Spotsylvania. Cognicab Evil Weevil is the next one. Here's the Evil Weevil in green. It's actually pretty darn nice, except that the axle is loose in the... Uh, in the little thing that holds it in. It's basically a plastic piece where these are embedded and then over time they get loose and slide back and forth. It's not a huge deal. 
pretty good shape paint job is nice just needs some numbers on it we can put some numbers on or not I don't know what would you do would you put new numbers on it like I did with the bifocal over here I mean the uh, the boss house over there hmm I don't know you tell me you tell me let's see evil evil grasshopper and Harry holler grasshopper and Harry holler next one up is the grasshopper this one is a beaut. Look at that. Magenta. Isn't that beautiful? Magenta grasshopper. Nice. Got the red dots. A couple of little nicks around the front there. Here and there. Overall quite nice. Yeah, that's great. That is a good one. That is a nice one. We'll just put that right up there. Oh, I don't have the Harry Holler. I sold that one. It was blue. I should have kept it, but I did sell that to somebody. All right, and the next one up, Ice Tea. Ice Tea, this one in average condition. This one also has the kind of loosey goosey wheels, I think. Are they loosey goosey? Maybe not. They just tie up in there. But you can tell that this base, um, hmm, does have that ripple effect, like it might crumble at some point. But it's, no, this one's fine. Let's take a look at the front here. See now, this is very minor, but you see that? There is a crack in the metal there. Hope you can see that all right. It's right there, right there. See it? Goes all the way around there. Yeah, and you can usually take a look at that ripple. That's generally what they look like when early stage of crumbling. Yeah, although a low cost iced tea for sure. Next one up is the hood or hood. And look at the color on this crazy thing. Too bad it has this, whatever it is. It's got not bubbly paint, but it seems like bubbly metal. But look at the color. It's incredible. I don't even think it was even supposed to be this color. It's, it's amazing color. Everybody that saw this when I had it at the convention wanted to try to get it from me. But it's Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. Hong Kong and light magenta. And it's crazy. Okay, babe. Hey, everybody. It's been a few hours, but I am back at the desk, and I want to continue to reveal this collection, starting with the 71 Jet Thread. This one missing the window in very good condition. Look at that. No chips, really. A little bit of wear on the sticker there on the side, and that side's very worn. But you can get reproduction stickers or you could potentially buy an original sticker sheet but original sticker sheets for the jet thread are probably about i'd say about 60 bucks maybe 80 which is about as much as the car itself costs in this condition it all depends on where you get it this one's got the red dots on the bottom it's a really neat car too bad you know i can't imagine when this was brand new was this super shiny chrome I would really love to see one of these jet threats in the super shiny, super shiny, super shiny chrome. That would be so cool. Next one up is Mongoose 2. The Mongoose 2 is also the Dodge Duster with the stickers on it. This one, put it on upside down. That's so funny. This one is on the right side because it was actually, this was the only sticker installed in the package. Look at this thing. Mint perfect wheels, perfect paint job. I'm not, well, a little rub on the edge there. But that sticker upside down, I suppose you could take it off and re-put it back on. I'm going to try that just for fun because this thing is so nice. It really is. This sticker's backwards. That sticker's backwards. That sticker's backwards. <laughs> oh, well, you know, kids had to put that on. Maybe I better just leave that the way it is for the Mongoose 2. This set also came with a pair of mongoose rails, which I will show you at the end. And then the next one up was a Mudmobile. The Mudmobile, here is the Mudmobile Aqua. Typical Mudmobiles have at least one clip broken. No big deal. They display just fine. This one appears to be in mint condition. Other than that, as the collections get older, they get mintier because they just didn't play with the later cars. They wanted to get them. But then they just left them alone. That's a beautiful aqua mudmobile, which is the most common color, then blue after that. And then, wow, look at this noodle head. Whoo, another noodle head. Beautiful. 
Look at that thing. Man, oh man. Try to collect all the noodle heads. <laughs> Try to collect all the colors of a noodle head and you will be sorely disappointed. They are so hard to get. That's just it's just amazing how hard they are to get. Mm. And then of course you got to go after shinier and shiner pipes. Shiny shinier and shinier? Is that even a word? Shinier? I don't know. And then one of my favorites, the pit crew car. Holy smokes, look at this beauty. Almost perfectly lined up there. Let's see if the back works. It's important that the back works, folds up the tools. Sometimes those don't work. Close the back down. Beautiful stickers on that side. This one's definitely going into the collection. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. A little bit of chip out of the sticker on that side, but it is amazing. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Look at those. It's getting more beautiful. This it list. Come on, guys. 71s are the ones to collect. Racer rig. Racer rig. Where'd it go? Oh, we're going to reach over to this tray over here where I put the racer rig, which comes with a white enamel cab. Look at this beauty. Oh, my God. One tiny little noticeable nick there. Otherwise, fantastic. Look at the trailer. Wow. Super shiny. There's the ramp. Pull it out the back. Whoa. Put that down on there and drive your IndyCar right up on the racer rig. Wow. That is amazing. So amazing. And now the next one on the list is a fuel tanker. Where did it go? I have no idea. It's around here somewhere. I just know it. And it is a beauty. I know it's a beauty, but let's move on from the racer rig, the racing fuel tanker, to the Rocket by Baby. Rocket by Baby, where are you? There you are. Reaching down for the Rocket by Baby. Look at this beauty, blue. But not just blue like that boring other one I had on another video. This is a shiny and bright blue. Wow, we, you know, I think I'm going to take the uh, Jeweler's Rouge to that this right here and shine it up i think i will i will shine it up i think i will make an entire video of just me shining up that right there because i've noticed on youtube that the video the guys who make videos about restoring things and making them look better get millions of views and i don't get anywhere near that i get several thousand views of every video more of it i actually get more views if I do matchbox videos which I rarely do and I suppose I should do more of and I think I just might do that more matchbox videos because those things get tons of views compared to redline views what is the deal there I don't know all right let's see rocket by baby oh school bus holy smokes are you kidding me you know how hard school buses are to get a decent one look at this beauty you know I'm not selling this ever Beautiful school bus, original stickers, all in perfect condition. Look at that. That thing is amazing. Pop that baby open. There it is. School bus. Crazy cool. Look at the that part right there. This is a separate part, this thing right here. It is shiny. Look at that. Got a couple of red spots on there. I might try to remove those, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll leave them on there. Shiny. Oh my God. This thing is... I'm just going to stare at this for a minute. This thing is phenomenal. The only stickers that actually come on the bus are this one right here, the school bus. You had to put everything else on. So a little bit of damage here and there is not a big deal. It is not. It is not a big deal. I'm going to put that up there because that is so amazing. It's crazy amazing. And then we're going to go to the scooper. Scooper. Holy smokes. Let's do the scooper. Look. Scooper. These things are crazy hard to get because this plastic is so fragile. Oh my, it is a fragile piece of plastic and so most of them got broken over the years. This one is beautiful. It is a beautiful scooper. Look at that, in green. In green with just the lightest amount of paint popping, no cracks in the windows, decent chrome on the base. That is a winner. That's a home run right there. Scooper, you gotta get one. You've got to get a scooper for yourself. And then the short order. Next one up is the short order. Wow. Short order, light green. Short order. This one kind of dull, dullish. 
almost like an olive. This is a real typical condition of a short order, light green. They just didn't polish the chrome that well, and so this is what you get, kind of a dullish. But look at that thing, it's in mint condition. Whoa, Ford V8 right there, oh my gosh. Oh, wait a minute, a little bit of, little bit of paint popping, little rubs on there, not too bad. Beautiful, beautiful, short order. Wow, short order. What's next? Six shooter. Six shooter. Six shooters are typically awkward. What's this one? Blue. Holy smokes. This one is, oh my God. Six perfect wheels. Beautiful chrome. Oh my gosh. Look at that blue paint. It's a little on the sandy side. Got a lot of texture to it, but you know what? It's probably the nicest six shooter I've ever seen. Which means what? What does that mean, folks? That means I will probably have to hang on to this one because I do not have a six-shooter in my collection right now. Look at this thing. Holy smokes. Could you imagine? How many colors does this thing in? Let me consult the Universal Book of Knowledge. Oh, my. Look at this. Look at all those colors. Aqua with the dark interior. Blue with dark interior. You see those all the time. Magenta, occasionally. Light blue, never. Aqua, are you kidding? With white interior, blue with a white interior, oh my gosh, that's nuts. Yellow with white interior, magenta white, yellow dark, light green dark, red with white, gold with dark. Oh my, not even available in a blister bag. That is just crazy. That is an amazingly difficult card to collect. Oh gosh, give up on that one right now. Just get you an aqua and a blue, call it good. This collection also had a snake too. Look at this. Oh my God. I didn't really pay much attention to this. Now the stickers are not applied properly, but man, oh man, look how nice that is. That is a beautiful snake too. You're not going to find too many as nice as this. Not sure what's going on here. There's something there. I think they put the stickers on and maybe moved them. Hmm, I don't know. Beautiful little casting goober there. Beautiful though, just stare at that, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, put that up, that is beautiful. Snake too, look at the chrome on that, oh my. Boy, it's not gonna be easy to get this from me. I tell you what, right now, that is a nice snake too. Oh my gosh, I wish the stripes were, or the stickers were on there properly. And this stuff right here, what is it? I don't know what it is. I tried my finger to scrape it off. I don't know what that is. It's just a little dull spot. I think it's sticker residue of some sort, but I don't know. Anyway, look at that. Isn't it pretty? Super pretty. Wow. All right, we're going to have to move some of these models off of here to make room for more models, more models from this collection. Let's get some of these off and we'll start putting down some new ones. Let's see what we've got. We've got quite a few more to go. Let me get my list turned over here. There we go. And the next one is a snorkel. There we are, the snorkel. Wow, look at that. This is such a delicate model with this big plastic. This basket here breaks very easily. So you got to really be careful with that. It's got the red dots on there. Look at those wheels. Perfect. Perfect wheels. Not even anywhere on the cab. Just your typical Hong Kong dots. Little tiny dots, specks, if you will. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Man, oh man, look at that. I just love that one. That one's going to go in the display case for show. For show. What about special delivery? Oh yeah, special delivery. What's going on with that? Let's zoom in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, oh, I see that. what's what I'm doing there. And uh, how do you zoom in? Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There it is. Special delivery. Look at how nice that one is. Perfectly put on stickers. Nice light, light blue. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Special delivery. Goofball car. That is a super goofball car. Oop, my big sleeve is getting in the way of the camera. Special delivery strip teaser. You know what's crazy? You know, some collections have multiple, you know, like one or two of the same car. This one has two strip teasers. How weird is that? Why wouldn't anyone get two strip teasers? Must have really loved it. 
One of them's got the complete sticker package on there, and the other one has one damaged sticker, but both are in brand new condition in the typical aqua color for the strip teaser. It's very unusual to even get a strip teaser. This collection has two. Speaking of two, two, two sugar caddies. Unfortunately, look at these poor, poor guys. How did this late model one get this damaged? Hmm. Most of the 71 models in the collection are very, very nice, but this one, this one got cracked and chipped and worn. Poor thing. Blue. Hmm. Blue on that one. There's no markings on this one though. Hmm. Interesting. Decent, decent number seven. Look at that. Except look again, cracks in the windshield. Hmm. Hmm. Well, too bad because the otherwise from the side, this thing is mint condition. Look at that. No chips, just a cracked window. So sad. So sad on the Cadillac Eldorado Sugar Caddy. And there's the brown one with the white interior. Very good model to get. T for two. T for two. Let's see, we've got a T for two. Yellow. Real nice. T for two. Goes either direction. Reminds me of a model I had when I was a kid called the Uncertain T. Uncertain T. Do you remember that? Team trailer. There's a team trailer around here somewhere. It came with this collection. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yes. Racing team trailer. There it is. Beautiful. There's a cab to go with it as well. Team trailer. Sometimes it comes with a white cab. Sometimes it comes with a red cab. And there it is. Team trailer. That is a good one. Going to keep that one in the collection for sure. I love the team trailer. How about a waste wagon in magenta? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is that? Magenta, magenta. This was one of my favorites from the collection. Magenta waste wagon. Beautiful. Look at that. Kind of got dusty. Look at that. Put the garbage right in there. Department of Sanitation. Very sanitary. Look at that thing. Why is it sitting funny? Okay, there we go. Look at that, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful waste wagon. And then the what for in Aqua, which was sitting around here. Where did it go? There it is. Probably not it. This might not be it, but look at this. Oh yeah, Aqua what for? Beautiful, white interior, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Normally the interior is sort of a brown color. There it is. That is so nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. No room. No more room. Now, what about, there were a few 72s in this collection. Now, where are those? On that what for, the white interior. I think I actually bought this one at the convention. I think this is the one that came with it. See the difference of the white and the brown interior? That white really stands out nice. Look at that. That is so nice. All right, all right. Whoa, let's zoom in. All right, now it's time to look at the 72s. It's not often that you get 72s. Before we do that, take a look at this. Yeah, about half the collection looked about like this. Well, a quarter. A quarter. And when I first started looking at the cars, the first case I opened, most of them looked like this. I was like, oh no, what have I done? I've rented a car. I've Taking half the day to drive down here to look at these Hot Wheels and look what I've got. But that is not what I got. No, no, no. It's all these plus some 72s, which are unheard of. Finding 72s in a collection. Look at that. Ferrari 512. Ferrari 512S. Wow. So beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beauty? Oof. Don't know if I've ever had one that nice. Maybe. Just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Ferrari 512S and a funny money. Funny money. Oh, everybody loves funny money. Everybody loves a funny money. Brinks truck. Funny money Brinks truck. Why didn't they put a sticker on both sides? I don't know. 
Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Funny money. Brink struck. Oh, look at that. 72. Funny money. Then Mercedes C111. Are you kidding me? Yes. I am not kidding you. Mercedes C111. 1972 Hot Wheels. Wow. That is so beautiful. Look at that white interior. It just stands out. Wow, we. I don't collect a lot of 72s, just one of each color. Definitely going to be some upgrading going on on that. Upgrade. All right, 72 Mercedes C11. What about open fire? How is that? Open fire. Look. Wow, open fire. Gorgeous, gorgeous open fire. Wow, we. How beautiful is that? Mm. Look at that base. And that's a little piece of foam that you put on the bottom of a Hot Wheel so it doesn't slide off the table or the display case. You know, like when you put your display case up on the wall and then the door gets slammed and all the cars jiggle around? Yeah, you put two of those on there, front and rear, and it usually keeps them from jiggling around. Beautiful. One more. Is it one more car in the collection? I didn't show the Snake and Mongoose Rail Dragsters, but uh, the last one I'm going to show for this collection is the Sidekick. Sidekick in magenta. Wow. Sidekick has some beautiful colors that comes in, but man, oh man, talk about difficult, impossible, really. Look at that shine. That is gorgeous. Sidekick. Crazy. Hot Wheels are just crazy cool, aren't they? So crazy cool. Whoa. Kick out the side. Jump in and go. Probably couldn't see anything out there. Not sure what kind of motor that is. What do you think? I don't know. Beautiful. All right. That is so nice. 72. Isn't that crazy? And look, they're all magenta. That's crazy. Except for this. Is that magenta or is that rose? Is that light magenta? Yeah, I think that's light magenta, isn't it? Dark magenta, light magenta. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this fabulous collection. This went on for oh, over 25 minutes of looking at beautiful Hot Wheels. A big, big, big collection from California. I picked it up while I was down there at the Hot Wheels convention in California, where I didn't really buy anything at the Hot Wheels convention. Why did I need to? I got 114 red lines right in this collection it was so much fun thank you so much for watching and thank you to the person who sold me the collection of course thank you thank you and i appreciate you watching the video be sure to leave your comments below and i do have over 700 videos for your watching pleasure i really appreciate it tell your friends leave messages below subscribe and leave your comments did i say that already okay all right everybody thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye bye now